Hello there Pixel Pusher, Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Now this one we're making a triptych which we can see here. So it's the same image treated differently with adjustment layers and also effects uh, on a background that's been created from scratch which is with a, uh, um, a graduated um, uh, uh, layer on it, a, gra a graduated fill layer on it. So let's make a start. It's very effective and once you get the uh, the hang of it then um, you can do some really good montages or collages or triptychs like this this is a um, horizontal triptych but of course it can be a um, uh, a vertical one if you wanted to do it that way around okay so let's roll back the uh, history back to starting point okay um, not quite that that's not what we want so let's just um, in fact let's just start with a new a new document so we'll go to new and we want photo because it, we're going to be inputting photos on there um, so let's do it quite large uh, let's do a 10 by 8 we want horizontal and uh, we don't want a transparent background actually it doesn't matter we, we we won't have a transparent background right okay so there's our canvas and first of all we want to fill with so layer new fill layer fairly straightforward and we're going to find the center point make sure that your snapping tools are all turned on and as you move your mouse to the center you'll find it and then just click and drag outside of the you can adjust that in a moment let's just zoom out a little bit center it okay sorry zoom out and we'll just position it here make sure your layer is selected and we are going back to the gradation and here we want to change it from linear to radial now you can try all of these different type of graduated effects but uh, we're going to use radial because it really gives us a good um good result and you can get quite a variety with this technique so we don't want a um, grayscale background so if we click on the um the uh, swatch to change it so we're on gradient not regular color and these nodes denote the uh, the one point there and the darker point there so you'll see so if we select that light node click on color and let's pick a color uh, we'll do it similar to what we did before let's do quite a strong blue okay and then on the dark perhaps we won't have such a strong blue say about there okay now this center point you can move that and change where the the point at which the color changes from one to the other so I actually want quite a strong central highlight and then easing off to a dark color again you can go back and change that if you want and maybe I want to just make that a bit darker around the edge and then the uh sorry the middle one the, i want to make that a bit lighter actually that's it so about like that so you you can ch choose how you want that to look now this you can actually move this about so you might want to put it there and move this round to wherever you want it you, you know you can do all sorts with it but I'm just going to for now have it in the center again it will snap into place okay so I'm happy with that and now let's place our images okay now if you just did file and open and then find the image that you wanted that wouldn't be the best option uh, it's best to do file and place 
and I'll show you that one of the reasons why. So let me find that image first. So we go to the uh, Wimbledon tennis players and just make sure that's the one. Yes. OK, we want to place it when we're about to place it. You can click and drag. You can see the mouse looks different. It's about placing an image. And by doing that, you can scale the image as is in situ, position it where you want. It's already selected. So if we do a command and C or control and C on a um, PC and then uh, command and V twice. And we've got two copies now. OK, so we've now got three of those. Don't worry about the, the loose placement of them. We can sort that out. That's centered. That's centered. That's centered. OK, now if we want to get the exact exact um, gaps between them, if we just do a... We're still on the Move tool, so that's good. If we just go outside of the image images and do a selection box around all three, selected all three, and then we've got the alignment button on the top right here. And we simply want a line horizontally, space horizontally, equally. And it just moves one. So those are now spaced exactly where they should be. OK, if we want to just make sure that they are all spaced OK, which they are. Right, so now that they are placed, we've got your three layers. We've got the fill layer, which is the background. What we want to do is now just select each one and apply a different um, uh, set of effects to it. So if we've got the effects panel here and on the effects panel, I'm going to apply a um, outer shadow to give it a drop shadow. OK, let's just zoom in there so you can see. And we want it to be black. So we just want to increase the radius increase the offset so that gives it a really lovely depth feeling of depth I don't want to change anything else there I'm happy with that but also I want to give it an outline okay so a border so pull pull that out we want to do an outline we want it on the inside we uh, want it actually no we'll have it on the center but you can choose which way you want it I don't want it to be black. I want it to be white. OK, and we just increase it to where we like it, say about there. Now, we don't have to remember these numbers. OK, we could do so we can apply it equally across all three. But in fact, I'm going to show you a quick way of duplicating that. So go back to the layers. If we got the layer highlighted that we've just applied two lots of effects to that's the drop shadow and the border and we just right click and say copy now although we've copied the layer we're not going to paste the layer what we're going to do is go to the other two by selecting both of them using the, the command key or the control key on a PC and once I've selected them if I go to edit and instead of saying just paste, we want to do paste effects. We didn't put a style on, we put effects on. So paste style, uh, sorry, paste effects. And you'll notice that on these two, the middle one and the left one, it will replicate what we've done there. Straight away, boom, all done. So now that's a quick way, do it on one, copy the, the effect across onto the other two. Okay, so we've created them. We've done the background, we've done the effects, and we've replicated them, and we've positioned them. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to, uh, let's go with the left-hand one first, um, this one, and we want to apply an adjustment layer. So we'll go to adjustment, and we'll do a HSL adjustment on this particular one. And we want to um, adjust all of the colors let's just say okay now you'll notice that it's actually not doing what we expect it to do so why is that okay okay it's doing the whole 
we don't want it to affect the whole image so what it is is this this adjustment layer hue saturation and luminosity adjustment layer is in the wrong place we want it to be attached to the layer so it's pulled down move across and when it indents a little bit it then becomes a daughter layer to the uh, placed image that we want to affect you can see now that that adjustment layer only affects the left hand side picture okay part of your triptych so it's about positioning this adjustment layer if I moved it about it would have a different effect depending on where I moved it okay so you can move it so you experiment where you want it this is where I want it then we'll do another adjustment layer okay this time we'll do something different um, let's say make it black and white um, again let's move it first to, because I want it to affect the one uh, actually I want it to affect the middle one so let's just move it to the middle affecting the middle one and when I change the adjustments for conversion to black and white I can choose how I want this image to look okay so I'll just go ahead and do that but it's not affecting the other images because that adjustment layer black and white adjustment layer is a daughter layer it's attached to it's grouped with that middle um, picture and then on to the final one which is this one and we want to add a different adjustment layer um, let's just say color balance for for argument's sake again it needs to be attached to so it's down and to the right and it then becomes a daughter layer and then when I make adjustment it'll only affect the right image which is which it's doing so you choose what you want okay I'm happy obviously you choose the effect that you want but this is just for demonstration purposes if I wanted to go back and change that fill layer there's nothing to say that I can't I can just go back to where I was and change it if I wanted to do that not a problem okay now that we've got all of that uh, we've got the drop shadow we've got the borders we've got the um, different adjustments and the key thing is where you put these adjustments okay so just be mindful of that if I now want to put a border around the whole thing and um, I can't do it on that layer but if I click the top one and go down to merge visible it will merge everything and form a new layer at the top now this new layer isn't actually affecting the image because I can turn it on and off because this is a duplication of all of these put together but on that one I can now put a border okay so if I go back to effects go to outline pull that out so we can see it a bit better and radius um, we want it on the inside change the color let's have it um, a shade of blue or purple okay actually let's yeah let's just do that okay so that's done so what we have is a fill layer with a gradient we've given it a border we've placed images rather than opening images because they then you can place them within an existing document and you can resize them much easier applied some effects drop shadow and a border replicated that by copying and then pasting effects in the uh, edit menu and then uh, we've got um, um, and then we horizon and then we aligned uh, the elements together okay and then of course we could save that export that as a jpeg or as a png or as a tiff uh, or whatever you wanted to do okay let's actually save that as a um, jpeg and give it a title ok 
okay and we'll save it in this Wimbledon folder bang there it is all done some wonderful techniques there about the fill layer about the border about the um, transferring effects from one element to several others in uh, one quick go and also um, uh, spacing to create a triptych okay applying some adjustment layers as well give that a go give it a like give it a, a, a thumbs up and um, uh, any comments would be greatly appreciated if you want to see more contents such as this in being very creative with your images uh, with some graphical work do let me know in the comments and we can add some more and really uh, play around with what uh, affinity can do okay thanks very much see you next time